Good morning, everybody. It's about seven o'clock in the morning, and tonight the northern lights will be very strong, so we need to go head up into the mountains. The heater that we got last night is fantastic. My car is warm. I did not need to use my sleeping bag last night. I'm just using my heated blanket. I have my coat up here because there's a light over there and it's shining in my thing, but honestly, my car is so warm right now. Let's go get some breakfast and then head up into the mountains so we can see the northern lights. God, my power steering pump is so fucking loud. God, it's so cool to be able to start my car in the morning and not have to touch my steering wheel like this because it's so cold. I'm not gonna lie, it's kind of weird to not be worried about batteries or charging anything or keeping anything warm. Like, it's just strange. Like, I don't even need the outlets anymore. Like, I can just do whatever I want. I'm currently researching which places we need to go to to get the best chance of seeing the northern lights. We still have to worry about cloud coverage, but it seems like there's a lake that we can go to that's got a good view of the northern lights when they're visible. I think that we can actually just chill up there for a few days and just wait for cloud coverage. So I'm gonna download everything that I need so I can get up there and I won't need to worry about not having internet. We've got food in the car, we've got drinks. The only thing that we won't have if we go up there is power outlets for the theater. Hmm. Okay, let's go find a spot to check out the Northern Lights. God, my car cannot wait till it's warm. Let's go ahead and get some gas first because I'm not sure how far we actually need to drive to get outside of the city lights. <sighs> 3.59, it still blows my mind that gas is literally half the price here than it is in Canada. 40, yep, 40 bucks. Would have cost like 80 to 100 if we were still in Canada. It's too cold to try to operate my camera at night with like the actual button. So what we're going to do is we're going to set it up on a tripod and we're going to control the camera inside my car with Bluetooth. Walmart should have a tripod that we can use. I'm definitely going to miss this. Having this access to electricity makes living in my car, honestly, super comfortable. Like at this point, I'm basically just living in an RV. It's literally fucking snowing outside right now, but it's blue in the sky and the sun is out, but there's snowflakes falling. Okay, let's go see what options we have for tripods. This is probably good enough for me. I think it's like 22 bucks. Yeah, 22 bucks. Now we're gonna go chill out for the next like 17 hours. The best time to see them is apparently from midnight to 3 a.m. So there are literally snowflakes falling. Actually, yeah, now that I think about it, we're gonna chill here in the parking lot until like 9 p.m. while I have access to free heat. This is one of those tripods. It's got the three little bendy legs so I can like wrap this around a tree or hook this onto my hood somewhere. I don't think I'll be returning this. I do actually need a tripod. It's a little bit heftier than I'm used to, but this will do fine. It even came with a GoPro mount, but this won't actually be useful because my GoPros are terrible in low light. And I don't even think you can see the Northern Lights without really uh, long exposure shots. So I'll probably need to do like a time-lapse video if you guys want to see this. I'm not gonna lie, the clouds in the sky are making me a little bit nervous for tonight. You've gotta be kidding me. The forecast says it's gonna be cloudy today and tomorrow with a high chance of snow. Those are the two days that it's gonna be most active. Like, we can barely see the sun right now and the sun is quite a bit brighter than the Northern Lights will be. Yeah, so I was waiting up for hours last night to see if it would clear up. It never did. You could never see the stars. Fuck. And apparently it's supposed to snow for the next like two or three days. This is what I've had to resort to. The cool thing about Walmart is the outlets, but the not cool thing is they've got all of these really bright lights that just shine on you when you're trying to sleep. So I think that what we're gonna do is we're just gonna wait here. I drove like fucking three weeks to get here to see the Northern Lights. We're gonna see the Northern Lights. Um, I know that there's hot springs in the area. There's like mountains and shit. So like there's stuff we can do. This heater is turning into just a godsend. Just my favorite purchase. <sighs> Like, look at this, my car is covered in snow and I don't need to worry about defrosting my windshield anymore or my mirrors or anything. I could drive to the McDonald's for breakfast, but everything is within walking distance, so we're just gonna go walk in the snow. Of course, this still is America, so there's no fucking sidewalks. You know what I'm tempted to do? I'm tempted to go back to Walmart, get a tent, get a sleeping bag, and actually go try to camp out here in the winter. See if I can survive for like three days or something. I did a video a couple years ago where I went camping in like negative 20 degree weather. 
And I really want to retry that because that was one of my first videos and it's not very good. 